Hey guys, uh, Richard here. Uh, it's been a while since I made a video. Uh, I didn't really get much time with classes going on. But, and I apologize for this part because I didn't tell you what was going on. And uh, there's a small update on the reef. Uh, well, it's actually not a small <laughs> update, it's a huge update. Um, I don't have the reef anymore. Uh, things were getting a bit uh, too much for me to handle. Um, my classes are going to get a lot more busier. I need to prepare for um, my future admission, my MCAT and everything. It's going to take a lot of time for me to, um, you know, get all my studies together. And keeping up with the reef is not really one of the things I can do right now. Now, the 40 gallon was not much of a big deal. I mean, um, it was not too much to handle, to be honest. But uh, I was sort of getting tired of the 40 gallon. And if I was keeping a reef, I wanted it to be much um, a larger setup than a 40 gallon. So, um, and that was my plan. I was planning to upgrade the tank. Uh, as soon as I could, but um, once I um, had the money to upgrade and all, I just, uh, you know, I kind of had second thoughts about it, because I'll be spending a lot of money buying new tank, new equipment, um, it's going to take a while to um, <clears throat> cycle the whole tank, then I have to move all my stuff in here, and um, it was just going to be a... It was just going to take a lot of time, which I do not have right now. And it was going to spend all the money I could use for a lot of other great, much greater things. Because right now, uh, getting a better education would be more, uh, uh, how do you say it? Uh, I guess even more reasonable than getting a reef tank right now. Because I'll have plenty of time to set up a reef tank after I get a job <laughs> so uh, anyway since I did have some money left over and um, uh, I just saved that up and used the money I got from getting rid of all my reef equipments to buy another tank and right there it's a uh, 125 with, uh, um, you could say monster fish for now. Because, um, I mean, this is all the setup. This is everything I got. So, um, there might be changes going on in here. I might take the plants out and do more driftwood and things like that. But, I'm done with the reef for now. And going with this one. Uh, there's a, a spotted gar in there. There's a Jaguar. I love this guy. He's just... <laughs> he's just handsome. And um, there's an Oscar in the back. There's a Sunfish. Uh, I caught uh, a couple days ago. I just put... I think I got three of the Sunfish in here. Just because I love the Sunfish. I don't know why a lot of people... You know, if I, if I had space for another tank and I could do it, I probably would do like a a US native fish tank because there's a lot of beautiful native fish here and not many people have those tanks I mean it's I mean we see all this fancy uh, cichlids and all but uh, US does have a lot of beautiful fish uh, and I actually like the sunfish quite a lot because they do resemble cichlids and they're just they're pretty much like cichlids some of them are quite colorful these guys are scared to death now of my Jaguar, that's why they're all black and stuff, but when they color up, they look pretty good. Um, then my favorite fish of all is uh, this guy right here. <laughs> if you guys have seen my videos before, you guys know how much I love uh, spiny eels, you know, fire eels and tire track eels and stuff like that. And this guy is a huge tire track eel. Uh, 
He's usually out and swimming, but he's kind of shy right now. I don't know what's going on, but um, usually he's not shy at all. I mean, even with people standing right by the tank, he comes out and asks for food and things like that. But um, I'll get a better video of that later. But this is it for now. Um, my initial plans were to... Um, you guys know about my 55-gallon planet? I have a problem going on with the tank itself, um, as in the the brace in the middle got cut. I mean, it just broke. Uh, it snapped and it scared the heck out of me because I thought the tank was, you know, leaking or something. But fortunately, it is not. It's just uh, the top of the, the, the frame just snapped a bit. Um, but either way, I don't want to wait around till the seals do decide to give out. And if I'm home, it will be fine because I can, um, you know, save the fish and uh, get everything out of the way before the water floods my carpet and stuff. But if for any reason I'm not home or I'm sleeping, I don't know about it, uh, that's going to be a huge mess. That's going to be a huge loss. So I wanted to just get a new tank. And instead of getting a new 55, I thought maybe I'll just use this time to upgrade the tank. So I went on Craigslist and uh, looked for weeks actually um, and found this 125 from a guy that was uh, moving and he couldn't take the tank with him. So um, yeah, I, I, I bought it. Um, me and my friend went to get it and my plan was to sell everything else inside here like the plants, the fish and everything and the lights and all and just keep the filters the tank and the stand so I could move all my stuff from the 55 in here all the plants and make this a planet tank which would have been excellent but um, I bring it home and to be honest as soon as I t saw the tank I was kind of kind of really impressed with the fish <laughs> I didn't really want to sell them but um, you know, this is my parents' house, and I would love to just keep all the tanks to a minimum for now, just to keep them happy and all. They don't actually mind too much, but they just think it's uh, it's taken away from my my concentration on my education. But uh, yeah, that's another story. <laughs> so, anyways, I bring it home. Uh, I don't tell my parents that I kind of want to keep the fish because I know they might be kind of disappointed because that would be another new tank in the home <laughs> so I just like yeah we should sell this and you know I was just showing them the fish and my dad I've told you guys before my dad loves monster fish as well <laughs> just as much as I do and as soon as he saw the gar the the eel and the huge Oscar he was like there's no way you're selling this one you, you're you're keeping this so uh yeah, <laughs> I got lucky with that one, so I'm keeping these guys. Now, I do want to add some fish in here, maybe like some bikers and maybe another fire eel or something else. If you guys have any uh, suggestions on what else I could and should add to this tank, please let me know. I don't want to overcrowd this tank because I already have like huge five fish in here. No, well, not five, four of the huge fish and the three sunfish. But um, I do still think I can fit a couple more fish in here and maybe some bottom dwellers. And when I do, I probably would have to upgrade the, the filtration on this one. Um, it came with a wet and dry filter. Where's that? Hold on. Right there, it's a... Yeah, it's a wet and dry with the with one of those hang on the back overflows and they had a I don't know what the other one I think it's a XP4 or a XP3 I don't I don't I don't know it's one of those filter fill star filters I have on my planet tank which is all right but I don't actually like the this uh, canister filter the the fill star one on here the other one's perfect though. The one on my planet tank is perfect because it's in good condition and all. But I don't know if you guys can hear the humming sound. But that's coming from the, the Philstar. 
um, the person that had the tank uh, kind of replumbed it, so to speak, like like that. He d he got uh, new uh, uh, pipes for it, and he did the PVC thing, and the old output is different as well. And the tubes are actually quite it's it's kind of too long, and I think that cuts back on the efficiency of the filter. And perhaps that's why it's kind of humming too loud because the other one does not make this humming. It's it's practically quiet on the other tank. And uh, yeah, I was thinking when I do have the money, I would love to just uh, upgrade this to like an XP XP5 or a not an XP, XP5. My bad, uh, FX5 or FX6. Uh, either one of those would be perfect. Uh, and that would be excellent filtration in here and uh, I could uh, get away with a couple more fish in here and you know um, and I can do water changes and all um, I'm kind of used to overcrowding fish with the planet tank thing is there's plants in there to keep the water perfect but there's no plants in here but I, I, I still think I can deal with it uh, and they had another filter on here one of these hang in the backs but the hang in the back doesn't work. Yeah, it, it it turns on and it runs for like five minutes and just shuts off. I don't know what's going on. So I'm going to pick that out and clean it and put it all back together and see if it still works. If not... <laughs> Sorry about my dog. Uh, <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, that's about it for now. I'll make another video pretty soon. Um... Uh, Sorry about not making a final video of the reef. Anyways, thanks for watching.